Okay, we've got a center foot assembly. I have just finished bolting the ankle to the Omni wheels and the foot shell. Um, in my past video, I used a spacer two millimeter to get the foot shell to be clamped between uh, this three piece assembly here that gets a 5 16 inch threaded bolt that goes through the ankle. And then the foot shell goes on, and then the uh, Omni wheel assembly goes on and bolts to this part of the three part upper frame, I guess you could call it. And there is just a slight bit of lateral movement to the foot shell. You pretty much have to be, there we go, holding the foot shell and holding that center frame and you might be able to see maybe can see there's just a little bit of movement of the foot shell and I'm fine with that it's not enough to rattle it probably won't move as the droid is moving it's tight enough that I think the only time it'll move is if it hits something and that'll actually give it a little bit of give to lessen any damage from running into things a bit I think so I'm fine with that uh, I think I'm not sure I'm pretty sure that I'm just gonna leave it that way I don't have anything that can glue PETG well that I know of maybe two-part epoxy but this uh, um, three-part section here that's attached to the ankle is um, the side pieces have dovetails that go into this bottom piece and I did not glue the side pieces to the bottom piece because I didn't know what to glue it with and because these are held in with dovetails and the weight of the droid is down pushing on it they're not going to come off these side pieces are not going to come off if they're not glued so I don't think I need to glue those because they're held in with large, thick dovetails to the bottom piece. Um, I can choose whatever side of this I want to be facing forward. It'll probably be this side, the other side. One of these cylinders has a little tiny mark on it, but either, either way it's going to look fine. Um, this is the one where I tr um, used satin clear on the ankle cylinders and um, they look fine for being on the center ankle because you can't really see them but I am definitely using gloss for the rest the gloss you can actually see the kind of pearlescent whereas with the satin gloss not so much and I think some of that's just the texture of the of the gloss as it went on, it wasn't as smooth as the gloss went on, but I definitely like the gloss better, but this is fine for the center ankle where it's it's basically going to be like that in shadow all the time, and, and it's absolutely fine. I'm not going to worry about redoing that. Um, I'll turn the camera off and flip this upside down just to show the bottom. Okay, here we have the bottom. We have the Vex Omni wheel mod. So instead of 3D printing your own Omni wheels, you can purchase these Omni wheels from vexrobotics.com. And in Michael Badley's files on this Patreon site, there is the Vex center wheel mod folder that has the STL files for this frame which is different from the one that you print if you're making your own Omni wheels. You can see some hefty bolts there that go through that hold it all together. Um, I forget the size. I made that assembly last year, but it's, it's in the VEX modification, center wheel modification um, on the Patreon site. 
So this frame is held in with four M4 bolts. Um, I couldn't find online the size that holds it to that uh, three-piece white part that attaches to the ankle. Um, I used 25 millimeter long and they work. Um, I don't know if shorter would work or not. I think my sizes, I don't think I have 20 millimeter. Um, they're also tapered. They use that uh, taper head type screw. So they're actually the exact same screws as these. These are also 25 mil that go through there. Um, if you take the screws out, this one on this side, and then there's another one over here on this side, and then you loosen this bolt, you can pull these Omni wheels completely out if you needed to. Um, it was not fun bolting these in. Uh, if you look, <laughs> you have to get those uh, 25 millimeter M4 bolts down in between the Omni wheels into the uh, holes in this frame piece. So I used a screwdriver with a extend magnetic extension to get the screws down there into the hole and then coming from the other side with my finger once I could uh, put my finger on the screw I pulled the magnet off and then the screws dropped down to the hole so I had all four bolts on this frame sticking through their holes and then I put it down on the rest of this assembly and they lined up with the bolts that are in the uh, three-piece part on top and I was able to tighten all four down. I did it in an X pattern kind of like if you're changing a tire just to make sure that they all went down evenly and one side wasn't you know higher than the other and like I said the 25 millimeter length bolts seem to work okay it's in there plenty tight and I had enough threads that it wasn't like I only you know, was screwing it in a couple threads, so I think that's that's a good length to use for those. Because it's hard to find that information online. Um, 